Okay, so I bought this uh, contact frame. It's a faulty one. So basically, when you test them, you have to press that button in. Now look at the resistance I'm getting on that. It's like 989 kilohomes, and it's all over the place. So you have to check on each one. We can also check in continuity and with diode mode and it gives you a voltage drop across them so as you can see the voltage drop across that is like in 100 millivolts 200 millivolts so that's a lot of resistance normally you'd be reading 0 0.001 and that would be 1 ohm resistance which is bad enough these should be in the micro ohms of resistance but yeah it's reading 200 millivolt drop and in the killer ohms of resistance. So you test each one. So again, massive killer ohm reading. That's a bit better of a voltage drop, but it's still too much and it's all over the place. So I'll do the last phase. Obviously the last one is an auxiliary that turns on like a light in the dashboard, the control board. If you wire it up. So, again, big voltage drop across it with the diode mode and a lot of killer ohms resistance. I'll just check the last one as well, no need to, like they're all the same. Oh, that one's actually got a little, only about 0 0.3 hours of resistance. So that one's a bit better. Let's try it on the voltage drop. So that's 0 0.000, 0 .000. so it's taking, the, you don't even pick up an, an ohm of resistance doing a diode test. So but at least that contact is working alright. Check the coil, you just do the same but in test resistance of the coil. So that's on diode mode, sorry. So 474 ohms, so that's a good reading. So sometimes though when you energize these you can get a better reading, so I'm just going to energise it, I don't recommend this, it's only 24 volts but I don't like doing live testing. You can also, when it's live, test across each terminal and see if you've got a voltage drop with AC volts, but that's live testing as well, so I don't recommend that. Right, I'm just going to energise the contactor then. I'll test across again to see if we've got better readings. Obviously I don't have to manually press that down now because it's already doing it. But as you can see the readings are all over the place. Although that one's dropped to 2 ohms. So, with the cores energised it's still showing resistance. I'll do the voltage drop test across with the diode as well. All over the place. That one's better but it's showing resistance look. 
I'd fail that one even, even showing 0 0.001 or 2 shows you've got 2 wire resistance should be in the micro ohms so that is it really obviously you can set it to volts, AC volts and test across it while it's energised and you should be getting millivolt drops but obviously it ain't energised so I don't recommend doing live testing anyway just wanted to finish off by I haven't got any little resistors but I wanted to show you what resistance that voltage drop will pick up the diode test So we've got like naught put half an ohm resistance there. You flick it to diode mode and it won't show anything. So it won't pick up half an ohm resistance. So there you go, I've got nearly one ohm. So I flick it down to diode. It shows you 0 0.001. I always found that 1 ohm is close to 0 0.001, so if you're showing that, you're getting an ohm resistance over your contactor and it is a fail. It should be like 800 milliamps or something like that, or microamps. So you need to get a special tester for these, really, if you're in industrial work, but diode will show you a little bit.